Our main topic of discussion this morning following President Bola Metinibu's transmission of four bills to the National Assembly is our discussion on Nigeria's tax generation drive. As we're joined by a tax analyst, Mr. Oji Philip Oji. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, sir. Thank you for having me. Well, good morning. It's always a pleasure to have you in the studio. I'm glad. The last time you were here, you gave quite um, a huge <laughs> revelation and almost like a prophecy which uh, came to pass. Yes. How, how would you react to? <laughs> how would you react to the situation? Well, of uh, well I, I always comment, President Bola Metunubu. I said it the other time. Uh, look, there are some good intentions that will not give you the result you intend to get, which is what I'm avoiding yes. in some of his move. President Ahmed Bola Tunubu is somebody who's concerned. He, in fact, one of one of the things he did when he was campaigning was that he was the only <laughs> candidate who I used to tell my family, do you see where he's going? He knew, and he always do it, that you can't do, you can't run any country without a, a sound transition system, right. which is what is going on now. Now, coming to the thought, what they brought to the International Assembly, I'm not surprised because I'm part, almost part of it. The presidential committee chairman, that is my friend for over four years now, before he was appointed. So, and he work in the PwC, all right? It's a, a, a fact, it's an expert in taxation. But there's something that somebody must know. Nigerians are not carried along in our taxation system. And I'm surprised that uh, after the announcement of the president, because when the thing came up yesterday, plus they calling me, even my members, because I, I formed the Association of Consultants of, of, of Nigeria or even on the economy for over seven years now, when I'm pushing a bill, Independent Revenue Inspector Agency of Nigeria yes. that will be independent. You can't run a, in today's world, even before now, but let me talk about today. You can't run a country's uh, uh, tax and uh, you forget about the people paying. They are the number one stakeholder. And not just the big companies. No, yes. Which people which, which, are they even paying tax? People pay tax. What I, I told you last time, he said, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't my tax, tax we are paying here. Okay, let me give you an example. Okay, let me, I will round up this place, please. Okay. The three, four points they made are already existing. It's already there for a long time. Trust Tribunal, uh, or what, let me just leave that, because that, that one, as if people don't know about it. It was now the command they regenerated so that it, people would not know about it. Look. It's one-sided. What do I mean? You said you changed the name of Federal Revenue, which it was even my advocacy that brought that change because I said it's not Federal, it's, it's going to be changed because it is not Nigerian people that own that money, not Federal government. Yes. So likely, I'm happy that they even, because it's one of the things I wrote that I sent. a recommendation. I sent to them, but they leave a particular, a particular side that is very important to the people, they leave it. Changing nomenclature is good, but if you did not carry the the, uh, the genuines of Nigeria, yes, it's not correct. So now it is, let me come why I will win them in this matter because I know that, like, some of them thought of, of, I won't leave. I'm going to fight or fight about it because if it is Nigeria Revenue Service owned by Nigerians, according to the international law, international tax law, I mean not law, said they stipulate that. There is no reason for a taxpayer to have direct interaction with the collector because the electronic service delivery will make it easier. So if they cannot have, uh, see each other, the same law said you cannot allow the collector to determine the fate of the payer because if, if he threatens you, you either pay unknowingly paying two times or what is a pay Multiple once. Multiple taxation. Yes, because if... Ordinarily, the, the, the person that will stand like this, Inspector Agency, I'm asking no, about, is, is the person that will make sure that the task, payer, task collector will not become an emperor. I don't know how to put it so that, uh, because well, if, I, I, if I, I have I, my I, way. I get your point. Eh, yes. If I have my way this morning, I will speak in Hausa language. I will speak in Igbo. I will speak in lo local English, which will connect the so whole So that again. every Nigerian can understand. They will understand me. There's no way you can. Let me tell you one, one scenario yesterday. Okay, four days ago. I went to a place to just collect money. Somebody, well, one boy around with her mother's uh, 
ATM. 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 But it's but that's ATM. Say, I beg, I want one thousand. The man said, I want hundred naira. The boy give it to him. Oh, oh, please don't charge there because the money will be there. If you charge that hundred naira, the thing will not come out. The man said, no problem. He now pull out one thousand and give him nine hundred. Boy, carry and go and meet the mother. If you see, they can't cry. I cry. I'm sixty-three years old man. Do you know the meaning of that? How will you compare that old woman with hundred, one thousand naira to Dangote? Let somebody stop this nonsense. Meanwhile, oh, they still had electronic, oh electronic levy on every transaction deducted. Okay, wait. We are talking about the woman practical. I forget about the POS man. I am telling you what I saw. People will say, okay, what in the, in the cry now? You say, pity. And somebody is talking about which is progressive. It's nonsense. How, 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 would you, ah. how would you say we should distinguish between who is supposed to be taxed less and who is supposed to be taxed more? Let, just, just like it is done in other claims of the world. Let me tell you. Until, because I know my memo is there for a long time. The National Assembly is to be, to be held responsible. The new president called me in the night and was barking like a dog on the phone. I said, please, please. Daji, I don't know they are right. That's the problem what we are going through. Because the Senate and the Rep, which is where this bill has to go. Changing of the name, fine. It even make it more clear that Nigerians are the owner of the money. Now, who is the watchdog? Because the National Assembly, for sure, they know. They will even debate it with me. They cannot oversight Federal Land Revenue Service because the information is not there. The rest of the information that will make you to scrutinize or know what they are doing is not there. Whatever you will get is what they wish to give you, which is not good. For a country of maybe 20 trillion, 19 or 15 trillion, and the person that will give you, uh, give you whatever information he give you takes. People say, I'm indicting them. No! We are dying. We are already dying. Now, now, let's talk about some of the critical indices that would show transparency. When President Bola Metinbu talked about his tax reforms, he brought about the student's loan program, which he said was going to be funded by 10% of the annually corrected revenue from FIRS. Persons were saying, would that be enough to be able to adjudge for the judicious use of taxes collected from Nigeria? It's not necessary to talk about all this uh, palliative. It ends up being palliative. I don't need it. What I'm telling Nigeria is that don't be deceived. And I'm telling you that I'm going to, from this next week, I'm going to challenge all the religious leaders, the kings, the student union, the NLC, the NUJ, you people. This is killing us. What we are talking about here, let them be. Do you know the nickname of uh, tax strategies in the world? They call it legislative watchdog, my brother. Nobody can oversight himself. Let me tell you, to give you another example. Yesterday, I purposely because of this, and I carry somebody in my car. I say, three of you join me, my members. Let's go and buy gas. Mm. If you don't take this type of grassroots discussion and desensitization, please, sir, we will not get it. I want to use this much more information, which is supposed to have been in a local language, but we still, I will talk in English. I won't carry it up with that bogus English. No, it must come the way a uh, name. To, to, to to People the have to hear what I'm saying. Yes. Now, when we go to that installation of where I'm buying cooking gas, 3,000 naira, I went. I, I keep the, give it to the boy. I sit in the car. He went and paid. They give him this. No, so he went and collect the receipt and go to another porter, another table. Paid the stamp and give him the receipt. Follow this thing. Very common. Explanatory. Yes. Then get to the place they will say the gas, they feed the gas and then tear this receipt the kind of so that you know it has been passed. Yes, it has been passed. Then when he went to the gate, we went to the gate, the boy gave one of the receipts to the gate man. Look at it. One, two, three, four. For somebody come ordinary, let me call it common, please, because ordinary you cannot compare it to Nigerian size. Yeah. Common installation for selling gas, gas cooking gas. Somebody wants to retire to, to retire in the evening with the four different evidence. To ensure that there's, man, no, there's no corruption. Yes, now, you now leave Federal Land Revenue to collect tax, administer tax, investigate tax, audit tax, or evaluate. Oh, Jesus Christ, what is, this? what is this nonsense about? And somebody is talking about on board, which on board, man? The task, uh, the, uh, the joint task board have been there. They only change it to a joint uh, tax uh, revenue or revenue to a board. It doesn't change anything. That sense, but the thing they are saying there that I'm, I'm surprised I'm laughing at is that they call it independent. They are not independent. It was from there they give Taiwan the Daily uh, Committee five billion naira because the Federal Energy Chairman still have the power because whatever thing task, a joint task board does, 
is from the source of whatever it is in that other land revenue. So they are the same people. So if they say, okay, carry money from that place because they have a joint, there's a particular money that exists there. Give money to the committee. Uh, uh, for the, for, mm, uh, the IODLA committee. The IODLA committee, please, I don't come in. If they are the ones who give that money to him, because they know that I'm telling them the truth, I know about what they're doing. Are they now saying that the taxpayers should not have a say in their money? Are they not supposed to know? The owners of this money is the parliament and the people of Nigeria and not Federal Inland Revenue or whatever name they call themselves. We are still shortchanged and meanwhile we are in dark. The, the owners of the money is Nigeria and Federal and and the, the parliament they are in dark. The, 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 the last time you were here, you mentioned something about a bill you or something you are pursuing at the National Assembly. You even mentioned it this morning. I know it is not enough to mention it one time. We want it to re-echo in the minds of Nigerians. We want it to re-echo in the minds of any uh, concerned person who is listening to this or watching this interview right now. What are you pursuing at the National Assembly and of what good would it be for the common man, you seem very passionate about it, and we would want to hear it in depthly. Thank you very much. This is close to eight years from Eight Assembly. It was in the beginning, National Inspector General for Task Crime Commission. I live in Singapore. They have no resources. What they deal with, what which, which the country look like. If we have seen heaven, we say look like heaven. So they are only on tax. And if they even have a lot of taxes that is free, kind of a free zone. Not adding money every day don't bring money in tax. But let me go to the point you made about yes. who, what I'm doing. Yes. Then they bill pass a call reading, first and second reading in the rep, ninth assembly. The same ninth assembly, it was Ben Ben can now the deputy speaker that did it in the ninth assembly. He passed first and second reading. Oji Kalu did it in, as a, a chief whip, first and second reading in the in the in the, in the Senate. Then eventually they went for election. This time around, Ben Kalu again, because I, I don't get, I allow them to sleep, I'm sorry. They even sort of said, okay, you know, go, go sleep, not the rest. So, so I That's went, what passion does. I went again, because what I'm telling them is that, forget about what you think I want to get. We are dying. Simple. I came back because people tell me they won't take it, and I don't like it, because what they are saying overseas, our, our Nigerians, who knew what I'm saying is true, they say, go and waste your time. Are they trying to say it is true? That I'm wasting my time. Now, Ben can if the bill is not a serious bill, why would he go and be, I'm a deputy speaker? I respect him a lot. He went and bring he did get away from PDP. From Africa, PDP. One man from Benue State is likely to be Labour Party. The person who is even reading the because he cannot be on seat. Because he presided over the thing that day. He was on seat representing the speaker. The person that now read it that day was from River State, Port Harcourt. A PDP man. What I'm saying is that he was clever enough to bring just not only the the APC, the APC eight the of system. them that made it, that he made them nine were different parties, and it was a very sad. They, before before they even agreed to read it, they have to call me to ask me questions. Let me prove what I mean. I now tell them it's a simple. Uh, you cannot oversight what you don't have the information about. Yes. I even told them that the office of the of the Auditor General of the Federation said, done that. And I was happy later, a few, a few months ago or so, uh, President Tunubu said, we are not, you are not independent because they said they shut down operation for close to what, two years during Bahari's regime. Is it really close? A whole Auditor General of the Federation. Because the information they will use to audit whatever they want it's to do. It's not provided. It's not there. This now I'm bringing now, will now right? Whatever, whatever, if the thing, because God will do it, I won't stop. So if the thing is signed into law, you see how it's running overseas, other places that, you will copy a report to the National Assembly Congressional Committee on Finance. Are you hearing it? Yes. Now copy another report to the Auditor General of the Federation. It will now allow him to audit what, he will audit what you don't have. You can't audit what you don't have. So, if, if the National Assembly is asking questions, if the only place we, we say things that are not proper, because the, what we are coming to bring to Nigeria is the tax receipt. Whatever you are paying the federal government, we will hit our server. Let somebody stop behaving as if Nigerians are stupid or fools. If some people do not go to school, by the way, this, today, I don't think you can come in the compound without a, a graduate. If you can do it in the 1960s, is it now that people now know they are left and right? And the kids that I met, most of them are captains of industry, former police officers, former army officers. In fact, they bought into the idea. They were even asking me, who taught you all this? 
In fact, so, in fact, inside the north, what enemy against me have a million naira that was saying, who is reading you? How do you buy for to come here? Because each place I go, my members will join me, we will visit the king. To sensitize them? I don't want to mention what I have spent, but I'm telling you that this couple couple you are seeing from the hand of uh, our youth, because some of them say they want to fight government, I say no. My own always no, don't go. Because if you go, people will die. There's and a people, better way to go about it. There's a way. Which way are getting? The only thing I'm worried about is that that way they like, have to make him get angry and, and come to me because they always want to hear a bad, a bad word. You tell me to write a memo. I wrote and gave you. You demanded this on Bosman. I said, it must be independent. Don't tell me about going to put it on that federal because it did not work on that place. It did not work in Nigeria. I'm getting it. If you make a boss man that's on that federal level, what power does he have to challenge his organ? Okay? It's not done. And they are being paid through them. He might be independent, and then independence is not a joking independent. That will be almost a legislative agency. Because most well, of us, they call it legislative uh, uh, watchdog. watchdog. Another nickname is that they call it uh, the citizens, uh, they, like in Nigeria, the, the nickname will be Nigerian People's Commission. Because that's the only place Nigeria has voice. I'm the only one shouting, but you know people that are crying that's up to 80% of Nigerian population know that they are being cheated and that anger in them, they don't know how to say it. They don't know how to relate it. They to don't the know what to say. The, uh, to, they don't know their enemy. The enemy is the weak taxation and dishonest taxation system. Not necessarily who win the election. Mm -mm. It should that have to be second. And for the people like uh, the former president, uh, Salama, but I'm saying it so that they will get angry and come to me. Before Bishop Kuka, I am Salam Abaka, Oyadepo, whatever name they call, anybody call himself, both in Muslim and Christian, they should stop. Palestine will not save anybody. This thing is what was done in South Africa. What do I mean? When this man eventually got died, for the please, my voice is too harsh. No, 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 no it's okay. Let's, on, let's, 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 let's take a breather first. Let's also carry our viewers along. Just take a breather for a while. <laughs> Well, Mr. O.G. Philip O.G. has been very passionate about some of the advocacies he has taken to the National Assembly. If you're just joining us and you must have missed some of the points he highlighted, it is using Singapore and South Africa as case studies. And I cited a need for the National Inspector General for Tax Collection so that Nigerians can have concrete knowledge and data of all collected tax revenues. Now, he's also proposing that the ombudsman, as proposed in the bill transmitted by President Bola Metin to the National Assembly, be totally independent. He's saying it should be given the nickname of the Legislative Watchdog or the Nigerian People's Commission, all in a bid to increase transparency by introducing an automated server that is electronic. He used the case of a gas filling station, which he visited with multiple ticket systems so that everyone has a record available and to cop corruption. Now, let's, let's, let's talk about some other issues that you were looking to highlight. You've talked about the interest of the Nigerian mm, people. Mm. There is a system where some of the multinationals enjoy tax holidays. Now, the government in its argument is saying there is a case of foregone tax revenue and actual revenue collected. Is there a sense in how much is foregone and actual revenue collected? Why are these leakages, even at the point where some persons are jogging major tax holidays, the average citizen, like the PS woman you cited, <laughs> continues to face multiple taxation. Well, I have always controlled my temper because my age is high. When I speak this stuff, I feel pain. Just take it easy. Take God it easy. help me. The reason is that people are dying. If yes. it's ordinary, I wouldn't bother. Yeah, but because it gets worse by the day. Do you know that anything called Big Man doesn't pay tax here? You may not like the voice. The truth is that they have a way to navigate. How do they, they do that? They can hire the experts, which is even the way Fabsavi Oladele is coming from. I'm sorry. He worked in PwC. Let me give you an example that you know that it's not easy to, to, to take care of this. Only when Nigerians get up and follow me, with me shouting it will not work. Let me, Nigeria youth know that telling them to come and join politics is not the way out. Let us get economic freedom. Say what I say now. Economic freedom. It's yet to come. If it come, Nigeria, everything will get... Will and there come. wouldn't be need for the palliatives that are being rolled out day by day. You don't need it because it will not get everybody. But this one I'm telling you... Is this going to be the primary function of this Nigerian People's Commission? The, excuse me, sir. Please, let us not divide. Okay. The multinationals you are talking about. In uh, Australia, about a year ago, 
The company that Taiwan and they work in, PWC, will write their tax the way it's right now on. And one of the cripples elements inside their PWC went and said the tax code to multinationals. Do you know to tell you the application of living tax for a, sec a particular set of people, a particular like now ATO, which is Australia Tax Office? If it were them alone, that is a death sentence to that country. When they said the tax code, the thing did not end there. It affected not just uh, uh, Australia, it affected US, UK, China. They have bound PwC. Let him hear me and, and, and challenge me. Taiwan, they let know that this company is in jeopardy right now. They nobody wants to talk about them again because they are the big four. The other thing, I don't have time to mention them here. Let me tell you. Do you know it was the Inspector General of Taxation of uh, Australia and the U U OECD, UNDP, collaboration, that fi find that thing out? Only that place is losing close to 800 billion US dollars. I mean, for that particular, for that particular sale of code. Yes. To, to multinationals, if they have no tax inspector, nobody would have found out because it's, it's not just a, 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 a unique to a particular country. There's a lot of things to do with this electronics that meet that you, you, there's no way a tax administrator, administration of a country can operate in isolation. That, that's I have a lot of English to speak. So I don't want to get people confused this morning. What I'm saying is that that thing you see that they talk about uh, uh, multinationals is nonsense. We are not there. Do you know if I tell you about GTB last time that somebody will say he would have Nigerian uh, VAT for eight years? Are you now saying that they are, uh, it's, it's federal natural working? And what was the reason for that? It, they, they did not remit now. They collect Nigerian tax, they didn't remit. Not them alone. I say, this just, if the bank can do it, what do most nationals do? So now, if they are not paying, which is number one, yes. what about our international citizens? Nigerians who own, this is the place that I bleed because I know it. They own companies overseas. As far as I'm concerned, all Jesus Okalo, who is a senator, who is my friend, oh, he's, 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 he has something to do with about five companies. Because Out, normally, outside of Nigeria, it, the name is multinational. And you, somebody is not can be you alone. Wherever you go, it's either you go integrate with the people of the land, you open a company, you run. But whatever is percentage paid by Nigeria. We have seventy percent of that money, and the host country have that. I told you this; it cannot be less than forty-three billion naira, and it's more than total thing we are getting in the country. But both, both our GDP, whatever we could, it will not be more up to forty billion dollars. Are we going to because of somebody's interest or whatever thing they are doing this place that I'm crying this morning? Are we going to because of a human being and leave our forty billion dollars or more? Okay, if I'm I'm lying, why is that president went to Onga? He sent the vice president. Let it be a case study this morning. Because yes. when I leave here last, the other day, when he said, I laugh in my room. I said, look at it. The man is a very good man, Tunubu. He now said that please, because in his statement, that is a presentation, he said, please, integrate us or let us form a platform where we can be able to join hand and tax cryptocurrency. We have no mechanism to do it. What I was laughing is that the OECD UNDP is already doing it, but because they didn't tell Tower the only group did not tell him. I want them to get angry. I want them to get angry. Yes. If they have time, he will not go and hide himself in the world. The people did not talk because they know there was something like that already. If you don't which, judge, which the president did not. You don't know. Simple. Let them get angry. The man would not have said so if he know. The man intend to do good. Simple. So if we cannot tax cryptocurrency, are you going to actually tax any digital, any digital it's operation? Platform, yeah. the, the answer is no. Let me tell you another case study. During the time they are scrutinizing the budget of uh, Federal Land Revenue, last time, I think it's supposed to be last year, whatever way, the Federal Land Revenue Chairman came, patients were coming. Governor, His Excellency Governor Yari of Zamfara is a senator now. He now asked a question, he said, ah, we're in trouble. Now that this dollar is rising to 1,000, how are we going to do it? Because uh, we give you, give you a target of 19 Listen to this point, 19 trillion. With the size of dollar now, we'll be, we'll, we'll our budget is short, it's not, not, not going to work. Are you not going to make more money in dollar so that it will cushion the, 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 I mean, the, the, the differences, the shortfall, right? Yeah, yes. The man openly, I said what the Federal Revolution, I said, 
Yes, as it is, so we are not taxing in any foreign currency, we tax Naira only. A big point. But they must say, What? But the people you told us you are bringing a bit about 200 uh, uh, tax experts or tax agents, consultants, right? Consultants. You are going to pay them in dollar because it's part of the expenses you show. In Yet the, you are not taxing your budget, in, in, in your budget. For any foreign currency. Your budget. Yes. You are paying them in, in foreign currency. But you don't, you say we don't generate anything, anything our tax is in Naira. I'm saying this is if they like they will go and go. The thing I'm telling you is that when the man says so, the man was angry. Say what? You pay somebody, you a person you hire somebody to pay him in do, in dollar, and now you tell me that you're not you are not taxing anything in in in, in foreign currency. I am not meaning meaning the multinationals that have pricing our money away through transfer pricing, illicit financial flow, base erosion. And Nigeria was rated sixty percent of all the illicit financial flow that come from Africa, is from Nigeria. The 40 was shared among other African countries. It's not enough for Reverend to hear what I'm saying. This local connection, if there's corruption, then leave it alone. Let me talk about the international money that would have come in this foreign currency and cushion the dollar they are borrowing money every day. Can you cushion a dollar rise with borrowed money? It's impossible. Our people are dying. Now, now Dr. Oji, there's, there's something else I want you to react to. Um, uh, we know that the Nigeria Customs Service is one of the biggest revenue generating agencies in the country, uh, you know, but recently on the front page of the punch, we saw a statement where it says that the president is planning to bar customs from revenue um, collection. Well, this is rather a strange development because being a very large revenue generating agency, why this decision by the president? That is why I say they are ambiguous. They are confusing the old man. If I see him, I will only tell him, Mr. President, Your Excellency. He won't stop me telling him my mind. Do you know why I'm worried telling him my mind? A point will reach, you allow your child to talk when the family is in, 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 in trouble. Yes. So we are in trouble. We are not going to be respecting to tell them the simple truth. The use of Nigeria should rise up. I'm, in fact, I don't know how to do it, but God will help me. They must rise up and say, sign independent bill that will monitor and investigate and report to you people so that we know who we are talking to. All of us cannot be politicians. All of us cannot go to the National Assembly. Let that people that are the, the mini Nigeria tell us what is happening because but they have no information what, what, now. Do you, what do you think could have, what what do you think think could have been the reason why this decision? It's been the president. The president. Let decision. me tell you now. Yes. He was trying to avoid the, uh, multiple taxes, taxation, which is a very intelligent talk. Yes. But what I'm worried that he should know we have no mechanism for that. Yes. But, yes. I will tell you the reason why. If you go to UK, their own tax and custom system was headed by one man. I will always echo it so that people understand where I'm going to. In UK, they have His Majesty, not Her Majesty again, the woman is dead. His Majesty Revenue and Custom. The same man monitors revenue and, and custom in the same place. It may be difficult to make a double taxation there. But the other places like America that we are copying, it is difficult for you to manage it with the way they are saying uh, Federal Revenue does everything. Uh, we, let me come. Uh, we, what I'm asking for is not to come and collect us. We say tax receipt. And that particular place, inspection and evaluation, we're able to, to demarcate, to know. So, 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 thing that is the uh, arm led transfer. And that is why I say we we'll find a platform to say tax Nigerians. Arm led transfer pricing is tax, a very bogus talk. You have a lot of things you have to do technically to teach people what they don't know about tax. It's not about God collecting money, no. So a lot of things you will do in a particular system, you somebody will pay more than four times. You will know. So when that thing is, his present is correct. He's pointing at a, a thing. But I'm trying to say that the custom and these people that are always like this, only tax inspector can separate it. Can, because the, I'm not surprising that I will not be able to have time to treat this money. We will mean that you, this is so 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 thing have a trademark, and they are producing it maybe in Coca Cola. The product I'm giving you a very a shorter way to get it. So you are producing it in Coca Cola. They are yet to have the capacity to produce the content, the quantity the country need. You, you should see it sometime in ever yes, so. Yes. Ever. So if they allow you bring it, you no longer pay custom, custom duty, duty because you try. You don't want people to forget about the product. They will allow you based on the trademark. You now bring in that is arm length because it's produced somewhere, but because you have affiliated agents, a company here that want to produce it, but are yet to be on board. You can you can import. If they're then coming on to yes. at a point, you have the capacity to produce that. So, but people still use it to evade tax 
because they will simply be fighting and forget about producing. Which and, is, and there's nobody to check me. There. There's nothing you can do about it. The only person who's supposed to ask the question will just say, okay, you know, say, we say, what do they do? Let them get angry. What and some angry? envelopes will change. Uh -huh. That is what the federal land will do. Let them stop. You know, it's happening other places. Now, let's talk about uh -huh. this need for tax education, which you feel would empower Nigerian citizens. I need it. Now, the challenge here is that there is a particular tax system a lot of persons do not even know exists. I'm talking about the road infrastructure tax credit scheme. When we talk tax, people look at custom duties, value-added tax, company tax. We most often at times forget that these roads that we're complaining are bad in the country have a provision of being financed through the road infrastructure tax credit scheme. <clears throat> How can we go about this much-needed tax education to empower the citizens demand more accountability in this regard? Okay, I will, I will go back to the thing I said before. With those tax we are collecting, do you know if you can get elaborated buildings, standard buildings, not any common one they can, to pay just few tax, not a lot of tax, because none of these houses, the way I know, that depend on the local government, but at least they are all in the system of uh, lands. Yes. Lands, right? Are you now saying that people in Nepal will be able to know where their customers is, and the tax system will not be able to calculate and calculate number of houses that is in Nigerian states, we have more than enough. Local tax will give us over 50 trillion if we must touch property tax. That's number one. Yes. We shouldn't be looking for money out, borrowing what? I, I'm telling you again that company income tax and the personal income tax, nobody is paying. What we are collecting here, easy to collect, is the people that are working. You can assess where they are. The easy to collect from which earners is what Nigerians is paying. Income tax of either the either personal or uh, company. or company. Uh, only when they want to contest election, somebody want to go and make clearance, you can do it. If you do the real data and the tax inspector will play a role, you can't run away. Yes. If you run away, they will use your uh, bank account to get you. Guy, forget it. Nigeria will get where I don't know what somebody say. Nigeria will never be where it's not true. Do you know corruption we're talking about? The place you have corruption is the United States and places. Nigeria is even having have no capacity to be corrupt. Do you know why? We only give the poorest system chance, and the obvious temptation will cause corruption. Because a federal level no chairman, which is what we are discussing this man money, we see that somebody don't know about even this money that is here. He's a human being. You don't blame him, even if the chairman is sent. What about operators? What about the directors? What about the people? So it's not a part of if whoever you give federal land revenue will never be to even if he want to do it, he can't do it. It has a inspector that is outside will make people to be careful, to, to, to be on their toes. And again, this uh, 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 property tax I'm telling you can give Nigeria over 20 trillion a year. We ha do you have you ever have you ever seen like this and, and, and think the, the number of houses in Lagos alone? In Ogun State alone, in Abonisha, in places. And these people are asking for road. Sometimes, governor will use it, just simply say, eh, now you help me that time while they do a lesson, eh? go and take care of it. The person will come and do one act borrow work and collect the money. And you know that uh, uh, it will happen, let me tell you in advance. It's likely that the president will turn the committee now to the task force, which is our salary auditor. <laughs> the, the time we're doing, let him get angry. I want him to be angry because he's my friend. I don't like what is going on. The people from his own community is dying. So we don't have time for all this jamboree. If they turn it, because they will turn it, that's the truth. They're going to change it because the, the job of the committee is, is finished. Okay? I'm sorry. People say, I don't they do like that. I'm not good in, in calling somebody corrupt. What I'm saying, our system is not correct. So if my friend is hearing my voice, he should know that I've been if telling our, that. If, if our so, system is not correct, how do we correct it? How do we create tax inspector? Is it not this national, national tax, tax inspector? The only thing that will even start to even take care of election side is tax inspector. Now this election, only. this election is tied to the third tier local government, and this will be our final point because when we talk about it, most of the responsibilities are domiciled with the local government, the third tier. Despite this Supreme Court ruling granting local government autonomy, the challenge with this auxiliary outfit, which you think is going to be the fate of the committee as it stands now, still needs the third tier to actively collect this ground rent for buildings like you're talking about. And even in licenses for establishments, much like we have television and radio, that is a function of the local government. How do you think that the local government still grappling with election issues 
would have the power to follow this tax drive Let that we're looking for. Again. Do you see this local government or whatever thing that I will even say? Because I told him the day we were talking on the phone that till the, the yet unborn children of 100 years will come. The name of this committee is Taiwan Israel Committee, whether they like it or not. So for calling them, I know what I'm doing. I don't need to go and call the name they are called. It's Taiwan, I know. It's his committee. Yes, because Professor Emmanuel Dozim during Babangeda, the name is Taiwan. We don't even know the name. What we do you call it by his that name? Or okay. Asanya, whatever that the, the name of that committee is Taiwan's committee, whether you like it or not, because he will take the glory if the thing works, which I intend for it to work. Let it work, please. So if we, if you do this, he is saying he is saying that uh, local government and state should stop a lot of their taxes, which is, is correct. This Agbo routine, take this one, go there, go the collar here, bring me back. Uh, Tauting, it's correct, but how will he do it? The ground have to be soft. Because when there is inflow and there's enough, the task got to happen. Because when Clinton signed a, 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 a Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration on Twitter, after a long year of this type of uh, moving from one point to another, yeah. they signed it in 1998. They went for training for six months in UK. They came back and started work January 1999, six, six months. Now, do you know that from Bush there was task court? They are charging you 80 before you now pay like 40 or 35. They are now seeing surplus. The kind of surplus that is coming was shocking. So the reason why they are not adding every day is that all tasks paid are count. They must count. Let me come again. What I'm demanding that let all the taxes that are paid in Nigeria count. Mm. For now, it's not counting. And Those are the states, local government. Forget it, it's not counting. It's like, let me tell you that people said... They should they normally the sort that they call federal revenue uh juice appointment is embarrassing now. Yeah. Even if it is o owing to the leakages in revenue. I said they would just say that they want they take a man send settle somebody, get it get me upset. Because that is the hardest job you can do to collect tax. But instead of seeing the man, oh well done, sir, people now end up ah he give her him, brother, give her him, uncle, give her. Yay! What? No! We should not allow people to think that way because the perception of the taxpayers is very pivotal. Yeah. The perception business. And let me tell you nothing what they are not doing here that he will know that they can't do it there is that. How will you be the one to say you want to, 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 to go and measure taxpayer satisfaction when you are the one collecting? It should be somebody that is independent, who is not biased, even if he's biased. At least it's, 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 there's some parameter. You, you can't be the operator and the regulator. Yeah, so how will you now? Because... First of all, it is done quarterly to check taxpayers' feeling, to go and ask them how much is going on. So that, because the people you are collecting tax from, supposed to be sad, they should have some satisfaction. In, in, in the whole world, Singapore is 90 something percent, 94. United States that we are even clapping for is 60 something. Singapore topmost. Taxpayer satisfaction, because one, when you make money, they pay money, they will see it. First of all, and you will not come to be adding money every day because when the money is flowing, you may even go back reducing the VAT because because of the lack, the money that went a diff, a, another way. Yes. Somebody now go back and start adding money to what I just told you. The woman come and, and withdraw money with the one thousand naira for hundred naira. Is it not because there was no money? Government may be forced to think that the shorter way is to add money. If you add money, get I'll, worse. I'll if you add more. money, it will get worse. Mm. But if you put the right thing, it will work. And let me tell you again, if somebody coming to argue this thing, so you people, the journalists, you'll be careful about. In, 19, in 2017, yesterday, this one, because it's just recent, the, the IRS, this is primacy of a thing, went for what they call a um, uh, Bank Secrecy Act drive. What they did, they were there. Please, I'm, I'm, yes, yes, up. Yes. I'm sorry, please. Mm, that, uh, that's so. fine. Do you know that they, they went and bring FBI, okay. FBI, and they went and bring uh, financial uh, enforcement network. This is their own EFCC. But people think that they are, they are not as paid, they, are, they don't want to consign them. So they went for that drive and spent $97 million to repatriate that $9 million. If I tell you, the summing of the person that Federal Law knew sometime will go and, 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 and pursue, or is it? Is it they to repatriate the funds. They, they want to go and get some money. Yeah. They will spend 10 times on what they will get when they are coming back. Because if America that we think they are God will go for oppression and think they come and find out that they refuse to inform TikTok, sometimes they will pursue somebody 
and the person will be a mistake. Because if you say language barrier causes him to do a mistake, you will not collect what you are asking for. Then they, they spend $97 million to report at $9 to report at nine million dollars against ninety-seven million dollars that was spent. Automatically, if you come again, what the discrepancies you will see in the world is that IRS in the United States, the same 2017, went and destroyed backup tape. I forget to tell you last time. IRS workers went and destroyed backup tape of $492 billion. Okay. And when they are called upon, oh my dear, can I run this please? Oh, well, 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 time is not, time time is not on our side, but Do you know it was just, just find out. 30 seconds and we'll be out of here. Huh? Okay. Well, <laughs> Mr. Well, it's, a fi it's a fine place to leave it. Mr. Audi Phillips, Audi, <laughs> we appreciate you for your vehement positions. <laughs> As much as this conversation <laughs> continues, because it's at the table of the National Assembly, mm. we would have you in the coming weeks to come back and make your point. I will. We appreciate you. Thank, Thank you, you so you. much. <laughs> well, it's been quite the heated morning. I did tell you at the start of the show, promising to be engaging as we look to touch light sensitive issues all in our national interest. This morning has been largely on reshaping Nigeria's tax administration. A tax analyst, Mr. Oji Philip Oji, feels that we need to put the mechanisms in place to curb leakages in our tax revenue. And this should not be left for the FIRS, which is also on the verge of having a name change, to reflect the fact that it is indeed the Nigerian citizens that own the tax and should be privy to transparency in that sector. Well, this interview is also available for you to rewatch it on our YouTube channel. To take away some of the points and recommendations he has made, he has called on the Taiwo Committee to look at these recommendations in order to back President Bolai Bentinibu's genuine intentions yeah. to reform tax. 